Africa's biggest running race was back in full force for its 22nd edition, the Sofimolt Great Ethiopian Run International 10 Kilometers. Taking place in Ethiopia's sprawling capital, Addis Ababa, the Great Ethiopian Run is more than just a race. It has become emblematic, a symbol for the country and Ethiopians. With an impressive number of more than 41,000 participants registered, this year Sofi Malt stepped in as a new title sponsor. Uh, Ethiopian Great Run is uh, a huge event, which is number one in Africa and uh, sits in, in the world. And it, 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 uh, it is an event which gathers many Ethiopians from uh, different regions. So this is very important because we consider it as a huge tourism product so that you know, we can use it to move people from uh, place to place. We really like the professionalism of the Great Run Ethiopia, um, how they mobilize the people, and this, this thing has become far beyond the Dunderstone event. It has become a country uh, image as well. This year's race didn't only unite Ethiopians through the sport of running, but it also united two countries, Kenya and Ethiopia. Elite Kenyan athletes and journalists were invited, and Olympic marathon champion Paris Yepchirche was the VIP guest. A sister city partnership between Eldoret in Kenya and Bukoiji in Ethiopia is in the works. Ethiopians are, and Kenya, they are fighters. If you go the race where there's no Ethiopians, you are not feeling good. Because to come up with a good results and uh, to run a world record, champion record, Olympic records, all those records, this competition is high from Ethiopian and Kenyan. So we are friends, we are not rivals. In the field you see like we are rivals, but uh, no, it, we make ourselves uh, good times, to run good. Everyone wants to be a champion. Everyone wants to be a winner. So we know in Kenya, when we are training, we know what Ethiopia, they are there. They are like uh, scaring us. You see these two countries, they need each other. In athletics world, these two big uh, I mean, uh, stars, without one, the other is not that good. You know, they, the reason why we need each other. If they're strong, we try to be strong. Another very special guest was Kenyan champion Moses Tanui. In a memorable final at the 1993 World Championships in Stuttgart, he lost one shoe after the eventual winner, Haley Gebri Selassie, had stepped repeatedly on his heels. See, it's been really special to have Moses Tanui with us one of the greatest distance runners of the 1990s alongside the likes of uh, Haile, Paul Turgat and uh, other great Kenyan runners. And so to see them together has been really special. I mean, they had that very famous battle over 10,000 meters in Stuttgart in 1993. For me personally, it's also been special. I raced against Moses, so uh, it's been a very special reunion for both Haile and myself. Uh... You know, well, actually we met, you know, when I was in Kenya many years back, you know, we had uh, also a coffee together and uh, not like this one, you know, this one is something very special. We're still laughing, you know. During the race, uh, many youngsters, they didn't know this story, but uh, Mr. Defar and uh, the other, you know, they were young and they didn't know just this uh, video between me and uh, Mosa Stanui and they were laughing and uh, of course uh, I'm still, you know, just uh, joking with them, you know, hey, Moses, Moses, I know, I know, but next time when we compete, you have to tie, you know, your shoes and pop up. <laughs> we need to work together and give back to our community. And that is the respect that I have for Cabra Selassie because he's giving back to the people of Ethiopia and the people of the world. 
the race has always been a platform for the new generation of athletes to nurture their talent and love of the sport, and a way for the great Ethiopian run founder and running legend Haley Gebre Selassie to pass on the torch to a new generation of champions. Haley Gebre Selassie is a great man because he's thinking about the generations. He wants to build the generations to follow him. Especially when you organize a race like this with children. What do you think? Think about the generation, the new generation and the old generation. This year also saw the return of the children's race in collaboration with the Play Matters project. The great Ethiopian run has become a means of promoting important social messages by teaming up with organisations such as UNICEF. Having the children's races is just another way in which we broaden the scope, add interest and excitement in the race because it means that not only do 3,000 children participate but you also have 3,000 or roughly 3,000 families who are interested and some of those families will also be participating in the 10K but one of our missions as a company is to make running a lifestyle for everyone. I thought it was amazing. It's amazing to, to, to see the kids running around and being so excited. And I think there was a little of um, tension with some of the kids because they really wanted to race. It was really lovely to see also that philosophy around playing and interacting and seeing that really happening and see that when you do that, there is really potential for a lot of good things to happen. There's a message that UNICEF and the government of Ethiopia and the great Ethiopian REM are trying to get out there. And that's that all children belong in school. Today is International Children's Day. This is the anniversary of the Convention of the Rights of the Child that says that children have a right to an education. And so we're running today for all children to go to school in Ethiopia and around the world. In Ethiopia, we have almost 40% of children who right now are not attending school. They have a right to go to school. They need to go to school. They want to go to school. And with the Great Ethiopian Run as a partner, we're trying to get all children back in school so that they can learn for their future. Four-year-old A.B. Gashaw was the winner of the men's race in a time of 28 minutes and 32 seconds. This was his third title, having won it in 2016 and 2021. In the women's race, Tejas Katima, who is better known as a track runner, surprised everyone by winning with a fast sprint over the final 200 metres. This isn't just an event for champions and running legends. Everyone can join the great Ethiopian run. Green is for the fastest runners, yellow is for the fun runners, and red is for family and friends. It's a real celebration for people from all over the world who come together to run and have fun. A total of 41,000 people registered for the race, therefore returning the event to its pre-pandemic size. A buzzing atmosphere and some unique vibes make this not just one of the biggest running events in Africa, but one of the biggest running festivals in the world. To invite me is to show the world that sport or athletics is a unifying factor in the world. You can have war, you can have anything, but when you go to sports, it unifies people.